Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithelly.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you three projects using the A Wash in Beauty which has a really nice stamp set, or I should say bundle, <clears throat> that has the True Beauty stamp set, which is this one. And I love all the florals. Of course, you know, I love the flowers. And so anytime there's flowers, I think that those are the easiest to make cards for me because uh, they can go for anything like birthdays, just because whatever. Now, this stamp set is more like any other occasion, like just because occasions. And it also has a, a die set. Now, this die set, though, I don't think... It shows really well because there's two pieces to it or two sheets to it and this one is the organic beauty and so this one this is the one that cut out all the different um, flowers and leaves uh, but also has a few other elements that could go as a standalone just to decorate your um, your cards but also you look at this one uh, there is a die that kind of makes a little bit of a background too so Anyway, I need to play a little bit more, but I was thinking we can do some of um, like uh, blending and whatever. And so anyway, and I'll be very honest, I want to play with it, but it's been kind of crazy. I'm still crafting pretty much in my craft in my in my home rather than in my craft room. And so it's a little bit hard because all my stuff is here and I am crafting in my living room pretty much. And so it's kind of crazy. It's driving me crazy because I want to try different things and I just don't have everything right there so um but anyway but I promise you the cards that I designed for tonight are going to be really really nice so let me just say hello to everyone so hi Sharon I saw Rhonda hi Rhonda how are you I also saw Paula I believe oh and you know what let me make sure I'm also I can uh read better comments if I am on my on my um phone okay so i can see it here so hi judy <laughs> how are you hi sale oh my gosh i think it's been a long time since i saw you here live i think so anyway uh thank you so much for being here now um just to get ready as always i have different classes by the way um all the pdfs have been updating in the store i know that several of you have been asking me and i have not had them but this uh, this week everything is ready. I think it was actually last week. I when I sent my email, I update everyone. So all the PDFs are there. Um, even the ones for this month's card club, believe it or not, or the ones for June actually. So and talking about club, right? Oh, but by the way, before I continue, so you can go to creating with Ali. Uh, dot com forward slash shop and it will take you to my tutorial store that way you can see all the different tutorials that i have there past car classes and everything so everything is there right now anyway so now the next thing is car club and so as you know i have a, a car club uh, subscription and it is 39 dollars and you get a kit in the mail every month um for about five card projects and also about $20, $25, depending on the month um, of products. And when you stay with me for six months, consecutive six months, you'll get a $25 credit that you can use for anything you want. So that's one of the perks of being in the club. Um, you can be there for as long as you want and you can cancel at any time. But um, I've been getting lots of great feedback, so I'm excited with that program, and it's been growing really nice. So um, the month, uh, the subscription is open for the month of June, and it is between now and June 7th. So when you subscribe between now and June 7th, this is the, the card kit that you're going to be getting. So this is the one for the tea boutique. I love all the cards. Again, the tutorial is already available at my store, so if you're interested in the tutorial, it's already ready to go. And then I know I've been promising about my car class. Oh, so anyway, so you can't, before I continue, I keep going back and forth. I'm so sorry. So for the car club, uh, like I said, it's $39. And you can go to my website, which is creatingwithalley.com forward slash car club. And then you can read all the details there, all the perks. You can see all the different kits that we have had it. We have been going on since November last year. So very exciting uh because we already have what seven months already so that's exciting for me and um anyway so you can subscribe there now when you subscribe uh please 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 fill out the google form so there is a button where you pay for the subscription but then there is a google forms on that page you just click to the link it will open the google forms that way i know where to ship the kit 
I've been getting a few new subscribers and they're not filling that form. And it's important for me because sometimes the address that it is showing in PayPal is not updated. So please, please, please fill out that form. And again, when you go to creatingwithelly.com forward slash cart club, there is a button to subscribe. And then once you subscribe, go back to the same page, creatingwithelly.com forward slash cart club. And there is a Google form. So make sure you fill out that form so that I know exactly where to cheap that uh, project, okay? Or that kit every month. Um, anyway, and the last thing, it's an, a card class that I've been showing. It's not open just yet. I think it's going to be pretty much beginning of June. Like, I'm going to probably send the uh, email to register right away, like during these days. But I think it's going to be for the beginning of June. Mainly because, um, or the second week of June, mainly because I haven't had time. It's been kind of crazy, you know? So anyway, this is the one featuring the Sun Prince. And um, the tutorial is not yet on my website because I'm still kind of typing it up. And so that's it. And then the other thing I just want to make sure you know is I, if you're local, especially if you're local. So we're going to be having a, uh, what is this? a class at the great great what it is great the scrapbook at arlington the um, or the arlington great scrapbook convention i think is guys what it is the great american great american scrapbook convention that's what it is at in arlington and we're going to be having a class there so if you're local um to me which i am in texas again um, and you want to go and sign up for our classes everything is ready at their site so you just go to the great american scrapbook convention the one in arlington and uh we're gonna be there we're gonna have a booth so make sure you're there we're gonna have a bogo so that way if you're interested in uh buying new products from the new catalog and getting our retired merchandise for free make sure you go there because we're gonna be uh there i believe it's friday saturday and sunday i think it is and um and so each day there's going to be two or three different demonstrators. I'm going to be there on Friday. So if you're there, make sure you say hello to me because I would love to see you face to face and get to meet you. And then on Friday afternoon or the evening, we're going to be having a card class. And so it's going to be featuring uh, the butterfly uh, kisses suite that we shared uh, last week. And so definitely, if you want to be taking uh, that class, that would be great. Uh, again, I just would love to see you and meet you there. And also, um, that class later on, if you're not local to me, don't worry. I'm going to be releasing that card class later on as an online class. But I uh, want to make sure I get to, see, I get to see you and I get to tell you that we're going to be there, just so that you know. Um, and by the way, it's been like a lot of years that i've gone there so anytime that you are around the area during those uh, days usually it's the beginning of june or the second week of june make sure you go to to there because we do have that that booth and i tend to be there with jennifer it is jennifer's uh booth but because we're we're or i am in her team i get to be there too so anyway so um what else so i think that's it um, let me, oh, the last thing I promise you, I know that I tend to talk too much at the very beginning and then we'll go through the, to, through the, uh, to the cars, but, um, make sure, right. If you have a long wish list, Ooh, I think I left it out of the house. See what, I, what is driving me crazy because I have some things here and some things in my house and I'm getting all crazy lately because I don't know where it is. But anyway, we have a great promotion around the starter kit. And so if you have a long wish list or if you're going to be placing an order that is more than $100, please, please, please consider getting that starter kit. I think it's a much better value for you because you'll get uh, $66 worth of products. And instead of only getting $99 worth of products, you'll actually get to pick $125. So it is the best alternative for you. And I would love to have you in my team. We have team gatherings. We have uh, swaps now. Actually, we have our first uh, car swap this month and I'm excited to see. I just received the first cards um, today, so I'm excited to see them. But we have uh, monthly gatherings with my team and also with the larger team. Um, and so there's a lot of things. There's creative challenges. We have a mystery stamping. We also have uh, recognitions for any time you um, go into different things. But also um, you get, uh, there's lots of... Uh, 
idea sharing, right? Like we share lots of pictures of all our projects. So again, you get so many inspirations between the both of the groups that I think you're gonna love it. But again, the main thing here is really just to be part of a crafting community and also get your supplies at a discount because that's all it is getting that starter kit. You just get your supplies at a discount. And like right now, it's a great deal because again, you pay only $99, but you select $125 worth of products and you get 20, uh, $66 worth in products, which is in the new ink colors. Let me just show you here because these are brand new. So you get all five uh, ink colors for free. And then you get a pack of cardstock featuring all the uh, ink colors, which let me just show you here. It's just one pack um, with all the colors. But for you to see them here, uh, all of the colors is are here, right? Um, so you get the, the one uh, pack that has all colors and then you also have the designer's use paper Which I guess I left it at home because I don't see it here to show it and there's also um, the grid paper so uh, Like I said lots of great value for you. So definitely oh. so I would um, Encourage you to consider that a starter kit and again It doesn't mean anything other than getting your supplies at a discount and then get uh, to be part of a crafting community um, that we just love to share. So anyway, so that's it. So that's my speech for today. And let me start flipping the camera. Let me just pull all the car stick here and there. And let me get ready um, so that I can show you here what we're going to be making. I'm very excited with this sweep, by the way. Um, I think it's a really nice and I know you're going to fall in love with this sweep as well. Um, every single week, Whenever I feature something, I get sometimes, uh, I get, not sometimes, but I get emails from you letting me know that you were not thinking about a specific suite, but after you saw the projects, now you're thinking, it just means the work too, because I'm the same way. Sometimes I like a, a, a suite or a stamp set, not so much, like I don't like it so much, but once I start seeing samples, I just go crazy, like I have to have it. So anyway, so let me flip the camera. Give me one second here. Do, 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 do. Where is the button? Did it? There we go. I'm like, I'm still here. <laughs> and I'm going to be sitting again. Oh gosh, this thing, crafting sitting is still whew, not the greatest thing for me. Um, give me a second. All right. Okay. So like I said, this is the Awash in Beauty. And so you're gonna find this in pages 66 and 67 from your catalog. You can see the amazing designer series paper and I'll show you here in a second. There's also pearls, which, what did I do with the pearls? They're somewhere here, I know, because I brought them here. Hmm. Well, see, I'm going crazy here. Oh, here, I'm like, I'm going crazy here. So it is here. The pearls are, um, um, it says it's iridescence. It has like a little bit of um, color to it, like a little purplish. It looks really nice. I love them. Um, and I think they look nicer than our regular pearls, I'll be honest. I think I like this a lot better because they're even shinier. So anyway, definitely um, get a hold of them because they're really cute. And then there's also the stamp set, which I show you at the beginning. Let me just show you again, <clears throat> which is this one. And I love that this is uh, one of um, those type of stamps is that instinctive that you get a more natural or a more realistic look. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stamp some of the images so you know how I'm going to be doing the stamping. You know that I love to share with you how I stamp and then we assemble the cards. That way you can kind of see what you can do with all of them, especially for these two. We're going to be doing some two color inking, which I share in the past. But um, I, if you're new to me, you're going to see it and I know you're going to love it. So anyway, as far as the, let me put this one here. As far as the designer series paper. So this designer series paper is really nice. Um, you can see the patterns. Uh, most of the patterns are large, as you can see here. Um, not this one, but like, I'm going to show you the rest. Hold on, let me just show you here. Uh, here we go. And look at this one. So they're large flowers, so you can kind of play with it. And then let me show you these two as well. I was thinking about doing, uh, cutting out these. I think that these will be really nice if you just cut it out and then use them as an embellishment. You can add some pearls. You can add some of Wink of Estella to them. 
So anyway, and you have several of them that you can play with. Um, and then you have this one, which by the way, you can die cut all of these with the die set, which, what do you do with it? Oh, here it is. So you can, uh, which more and more Stampin' Up! is doing that where at least one of the sheets of the designer series paper, if there is a bundle from it, from the suite, you can die cut it. But you can see, you can die cut that one. Um, let me just show the next one here. This flower, you can see it's going to be here. Right now, I think it's the other way. There you go. Yep. So you can die cut that section. Um, and I haven't colored them, so you see that I am putting them back before I forget <laughs> how they were put. You can cut out that one. So all of the different flowers, this one as well. Um, let me just show you this one. Du -du -du same thing here. See that? So all of the flowers, same for this one is that one. So, oh, and there's lo the little ones, you actually get two of the different um, die cuts. Or dies, not die cuts, but dies. Uh, so you can cut out two at the same time. And of course, you have the leaves as well for this one. So like I said, it is a really good whenever you have a designer series paper because pretty much all, all the work is done. You just go with these, cut it out, and then use them as embe embellishment. And even this one, this one is also that one I forgot to show, so it is this one. So you can die cut that one as well. So like, so you can pretty much take this one, die cut everything, and then play with these as embellishments. I love doing that. It's kind of like the uh, hue of happiness as well. Uh, kind of the same thing where you can die cut the whole sheet and then you have embellishments. And then on the other side, oh, and I didn't show this one, but this one is more of a, this is the only one that has like a smaller pattern, which I like this one's a lot for like background. So anyway, um, and then the other side of the paper, as you can see, it's more um, like one color that could go for uh, any occasion, pretty much, you know? So one side is more floral. The other one, it's, uh, it's more like a one tone color that you can use for backgrounds. And here we go. See that? So these are one side and then the other side. So really, really nice paper. And I love that um, you can mix and match a little bit of that with the backgrounds so that you can play with different color combinations. And that's the other thing. Most of the time, I tend to take my color uh, combinations out of the designer series paper. And so this time you're gonna see that I, I'm actually using different color combinations. Um, mainly because I wanted to, to show you that, right? Sometimes when I'm doing the um, Facebook Live, I've just focused on one color combination. This time I decided to go a little bit wild, if you will, and put several um, colors together, I guess. Or color combination, I should say. So anyway, so let me just get um, this one. I think this one will be fine to do some of the coloring. Um, let me see what else. Yeah, I think that would be fine. Should I... Yeah, I think this one is okay. And so I'm gonna bring my stamps. I'm gonna start with, okay, hold on. I have this one. I need to put or mount the flowers. So this one and this one. And I think I'm gonna be using this one as well for my sentiments. Now let's just do the um yeah i need that one and then let me get does this one fit yep yep it fits and then let's go with this one for that one all right okay so i think i have them all now and um so first things first i thought for these two i'm going to be using the uh polish pink with the um, Mary Merlot. And one thing that you can see in the back of any of the designer series paper is that you get all the different colors. And so this one has the Blushing Bright, Balmy Blue, Calypso Coral, Granny Apple Green, Mary uh, Merlot, Mossy Meadow, Polish Pink, and So Saffron, okay? And I don't know what's the deal, but my fingers, hold on, look really, like they were okay and all of a sudden they look really like I touched something that has some black things. Anyway, so um, we're going to be combining these two. And the thing is, let me just share with you. 
<clears throat> here for a second. Um, using this scrap of paper, and this is what I was trying to go for, right? Like something that it looks like um, watercolor, but a two-tone watercolor. And by the way, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm gonna try to watch all the different uh, comments. Hi, Betsy, hi, Paula, and um, oh, hi, Julia. And uh, but anyway, if you if you ask me anything and I don't see that comment, I always go back and respond. So um, and tag you on my answer if for whatever reason I didn't catch it during the live. Because sometimes I cannot be stamping and reading and everything. <laughs> but please know that I always go back. Hi, Margaret. Oh, hi, Glenda. Let me see. So anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and take that one, and then we're gonna use the. Oh, let me see. I don't want things to fall apart. So let's just use um, this two. I think are the ones that I'm gonna be using. Yes, I think those are the ones. I believe those are the ones. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and this ink. Uh, yeah, ink the Polish pink, and then we're gonna go ahead and use the Mary Merlot, and we're gonna bring this one, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit there, and I'm just tapping, you know, a little bit. I'm not rubbing it, and I'm also not doing everywhere. That way, I can get two different tones. And please know that you're gonna be getting. A different look every single time you make it um, and it's supposed to be okay all right so see that you get the two tones which I really like now for this one now one thing is for my projects I'm gonna be needing two of these okay and so um, anytime you do a second one please make sure you clean it because if you go like so into your uh, lighter color or ink pad, you're gonna mess up the ink pad. You're gonna have like a dark area. And you can you can still repair it or you can fix it. Uh, you can uh, re-ink again, try to take some of that um, color out and whatever, but it takes time and it wastes more inks you, Yeah, from the re-inker. So um, it's best if you just clean it in between. That's the only thing. It does take a little bit more of time because you cannot just go like regularly but the effect is really really nice it's really worth it to spend a little bit of time just uh cleaning in between so again you just go and again every single one is going to look a little bit different and that's okay because also i mean no flowers no two flowers are the same right so they all look different see that so it looks a little bit different this one than that one and that's okay now, uh, next I'm going to be doing the same with this one. And same thing, I'm going to do a little bit of the... All right. And then I'm going to go with this one. Okay. And... Um, And then I'm going to go ahead and let's just bring this one too. So for this one, I'm going to go with the mm, Granny Apple Green and the Mossy Meadow. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and... Oh. I have that one. And then I'm going to be using, again, another of the... Dovers. And by the way, you get a pack with six of them, I think. It's five or six, I, I can see in the catalog, but I believe you get five or six. And it's only, I think it's uh, five or six dollars. So it's either a dollar each or something like that, you know. It might be six dollars for a pack of five, maybe. But it's not expensive. I mean, it's very inexpensive. And it's an easy tool for you to make your, uh, see that? And so it gives a little bit of that uh, different tones. So I love, I love how it looks. It's not looking all one tone. Cause let me just show you how it would look, right? Let me also, so you can see it. And because it also has a little bit of that distress, um, not, not distress, the realistic, the distinctive 
see how it looks you still have the two-tone but when you add that mossy meadow it kind of darkens a little bit of that um so definitely i love how it looks and so it will be great 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 to be playing this way right like because you get and you can go even darker on some areas let's see how this one looks like i said every single time you make this one it will look different see that so now on this one, I add a little more of the darker green here and then nothing on this section. And you can see how it looks. So again, you can be playing with this and get different <clears throat> type of um, images. Every single time I do this one, I'm just, I mean, amazed. I love it. Now for my card, I just, for another card. So these are the pieces I'm going to be using in my cards. Um, again, I have my that cutting machine inside the house, so I don't have it here. So I have pretty much done everything, but I was thinking uh, as I was watching or seeing some of the colors is that this one for my project, you're going to see it's only with the Calypso Coral. Okay. So for that image, and I'm just re-inking. And so you're going to see that even though I'm not doing anything, I still get kind of like a darker and a uh, lighter. Now, I was thinking, what if I do that one with the um, Merlot, just to play with it and see what I get. I won't be able to die cut it here just because, again, my machine is not here. Like, like I said, it's just driving me nuts. Anyway, so I, I'm going to go ahead and do that just to see what I get. But um, we're inking. And let's just see what happens when we add some of the Merlot. And... Um, you can get, by the way, you can get the card kit for these cards uh, when you place an order with me using this host code. And so when you do that, um, you get all the pieces. I cannot stamp anything. You get all the cardstock and whatnot. Um, and so you can be playing with these and make whatever, right? Whatever you want it to look like. So let's see what, what happens when I do this. Maybe I like it more. Oh my goodness, look at that. It looks amazing. I love it. Mm. Now on my card, I'm using this one, but you can tell, you can see you have another option, right? And again, I, I would, uh, I think I would like this one a lot and I could probably do a little bit less. So I still see more of that orangey from the Eclipse of Coral, but you can see how beautiful this looks. And then the final image that I am going to be needing as far as the stamping flowers is just the leaves. So do they fit here? Yes. All right, so let's do that. I can, let me see if I have another piece because I would I would like to use that other piece. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, let's see. Do I have another piece of car stock? No, I don't. Okay, so let's just do another one of those, okay? I'm just gonna put it here, doesn't matter. And I will have to use the other one there. Doesn't matter, it's okay. It's just so that you can see. Now, for this piece, for that part, I'm going to be using the Pure Pieces. And on this one, you're going to see it's a little bit different. I don't think I used anything on this one, by the way. I think in this one, I went just plain, but um, which you can see on my card. But let's just see what happens if we put the Pure Pieces. And I think, oh, I think that's why I didn't put it. Because this one is kind of too juicy in my for my. But you can... Add a little bit as well, and let's just see what happens on this one. See, I, I didn't see much on that one. Just, but I think it's because my clear piece ass right now is super juicy, and so I didn't get much different, like, like not as dramatic as on this one, right? So anyway, like I said, you can play with the different greens that we have. You could also be using. Um, the other greens, like um, I'm thinking of the garden green or the shade of the spruce, even the soft sea, uh, the soft sea foam with like uh, any of these, like with the uh, olive and see what you get. So I love playing with those. I think it, it just looks nice. But anyway, as far as the stamping for embellishments, this is what we're going to be using for our cards. And then the next is just doing the sentiments. But anyway, let's just make sure we have everything ready. And um, let's go. Let me just clean this because I don't want to have any of the stains uh, on my pieces as I am moving things around. Um, and again, the chamois is like just the best for 
quickly uh, cleaning your your stamp. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're good to go. We have all these pieces ready to go. And I'm gonna start now with the cards. So anyway, I show you all the stamping and you can see how beautiful everything looks. So let's go with our card number one. And so since I show you, you can see here, I have everything ready to go here. Um, and again, I'm doing that mainly because my um, things are here and things are in my inside my house and I cannot be moving everything back and forth as much as I love. So anyway, so here are the pieces. Let me get a ruler so you get also uh, measurements. And so what I did on this one, this was at eight and a half by five and a half. And I cut out one and one quarter from this section. And so it ended up being, I think I have three. So then I have, a, okay, so this is four, like a seven. Yeah, seven and one quarter and it's squared at four and one quarter because this is the four and one quarter by five and a half okay that's what this one is let me get my bone folder alrighty and um, then I have a piece of the basic white and this one is four by five and one quarter so yeah four by five and one quarter so this one is gonna go inside and I have a piece of this designer series paper and so this one is one and a half by five and this one is going to go here right and then i have a piece of the designer series different designer series paper uh and this one is the two and three quarters by five and one quarter okay and so this one it's going to go here see now as far as the embellishments you can see here i have the rose the leaves a scrap of the so saffron and this one is three quarters of an inch by three and then I have um, this die cut in the Mosey Meadow. And I have this label from the Escalope Contour dies, which uh, I just love them. I think I use them now a lot. Um, you can see here, this is the third from the smallest to the largest. Oh, I think it's also from the largest to the smallest. It's the third one. And um, you can see it here. And I have a piece of basic white, which is two by three and, and one quarter. Let me just see. Yeah, so this is two by three and one quarter. And this one I've already pre embossed with the um, gingham, the gingham uh, folder, embossing folder, which is still available on our occasions catalog. And I believe it is available in the new, in the, in the new annual catalog. So this one is, um, is still in the catalog. So you can see it here. All right. So. Let me see. I'm getting tired of being. Okay. So, ooh, hopefully you can see now. Sorry, I think I was not... I was off camera for a little bit. Yeah, this is why I don't like doing everything here seating. Because I don't see much until later. So, I'm so sorry, Don. Hopefully you can see now. <laughs> hopefully you can see now. So, anyway. Um, Alright, so... Yeah, so I think you can see now. Anyway, so let's start putting everything together. Let me just start assembling here. Now, as far as ribbons, there was no ribbon, but there is another ribbon from another suite, which is called the Old Olive and Sahara Sand Twill Ribbon Combo Pack. And this is the one with the suite that has the forest friends, I think it is, uh, which has a little bear. Oh my gosh, I love that bear. And there's an owl and a fox. And so it comes with two different colors. And so I thought about using possibly that one for this card, okay? The other one that I was thinking, which I forgot inside of the house, it's the um, the new Parakeet Party Metallic Woven Ribbon. I thought that one would be also a really good one as well. Um, but I forgot it inside, so I'm going to stick... With this one. Oh, and guess what? Let me see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. I didn't realize that. So, if you see these ones, right? One is thicker than the other one. I don't think I have realized that one. This one is like um, half of an inch, and this is like a quarter of an inch, I think. Yeah. Or something like that. I don't know. But, um, wow. I didn't realize. So, anyway. We're going to be using this one. 
Alrighty. So, let's just put together all the pieces. Hopefully you can see. Oh. Then I'm just centering here so I get a nice um, border around that. Now you can stamp here, but I thought there was already a smaller space for you to write into your car, so I'm not going to be stamping anything for that reason. But um, you could also add a sentiment right there. We can go ahead and... Oh, and I have everything now everywhere, right? So let me just see here. Oh, I did this wrong. See that, what I did? Oh, I'm gonna just pretend you didn't see this. Let's see how this goes. If I rip the paper, I'm gonna be covering because guess what? All my cardstock, this cardstock is inside my house. Oh my goodness! I'm. This is why I'm not. Uh, 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 uh. Hold on. Hold on. We're doing some surgery here. Cause we wanna make it work. Okay, let's do this again. Oof. I think we can recover it. Yeah. Oof, okay. Let's see. And I'm going to be holding those little pieces. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't thinking. This thing goes in the bottom. This is where it needs to be. There we go. Oof. Okay, the only thing... Oh, no. Is there, like, there was a little bit of uh, glue there, but everything else is there. Oof. Goodness gracious. All right, now this one is gonna go here. Now you're gonna be thinking about the direction as well on your paper. So I think this is uh, going upside, right? Like it's going well versus this way, right? So I would just try to make sure I remember that as I am putting the card here. See, we all have some days <laughs> where we're not thinking through these things. Okay, so now here is the direction is right. Okay, there we go. Hi, Lila. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and add this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some adhesive as well. And we're going to go ahead and put it like right here. And then we're going to be a stand, we're going to be gluing this section. Now I'm going to be adding just adhesive on this section and I'm going to be putting it like so, right? So yeah, there's no, all righty. And so I'm going to be putting this one as the center. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. A little bit cricket, but that's okay. All right. So now um, the way I was thinking on this was adding this somewhere here, right? And then have the leaves or something here. And then have my sentiment here. Now the sentiment, I wanted to have this one that says you are a true friend. So that you can send this for like any occasion. Hi Joyce. Glad to see you here. Anyway, this is the Memento ink. There we go. And, um, let's see, let's see. Right 
we're going to go ahead and let's just make the bow first and see how we want it because we might need to think to change things around, right? You know that I love uh, always put the layout and see how it looks together. And if I like it, then I'm good to go. But if I don't, then I can still move pieces around, right? So always, always put the pieces together first and see if you like it because you can always move the embellishments and whatnot. So if I have this one or, or maybe I have that one right here. Oh, I think I like that. See? Like, I can have this one right here, and it still looks okay. I think. Yeah, I think I like it that way. So, I might just need to move a little bit up this flower. Okay, so, I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to just go ahead and put this one on the side. On an angle. And let me see, what did I do with the dimensionals? Because I did bring dimensionals. Oh, here. Whew, okay. It's like, I know I wrote dimensionals. I know I did. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead first and add adhesive here. Alright, and then I'm going to be adding dimensionals for all of these pieces except for this. Now for this one, I might just put, let's see, I might just put a, because I want this one to be here, so I can put that one there, and then have this one right here, see? It looks nicer this way, I think, don't you think? Alright, so I'm going to cut out this one. And I like uh, making the bows <clears throat> from this pool because that way uh, I'm not wasting that much ribbon as you can see. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, Paula, you're so sweet. Yeah, I mean, you can see I struggle crafting sitting down. <laughs> you can see it in all these videos. I love standing up. But you know what? Standing up right now I can stand up, but it hurts uh, if I if I do it for a while. In fact, um, this weekend I went out with my kiddos and um, with my family. I should say not just my kids, but with my family because we were looking for some clothing for the kids. And uh, anyway, we went to a restaurant and the line was so long. And anyway, I was the one in line and oh, goodness gracious. I mean, by the time... I order and and um, I went, I think it was like 30, 40 minutes standing up and like I could feel, yeah, by the time I finished that day, oh my gosh, I was too tired, I was in pain, I was not happy, I was super, super grumpy. <laughs> and so I think I overdid it. It's just that sometimes, because I'm not using crutches anymore, I've uh, you don't you don't realize it you know you don't you don't feel bad at least you feel okay and then things like this happen where you overdo it and it sets you back you know so anyway but yeah thank you so much Paula you are so sweet thank you I appreciate it so anyway hi Carol hi Joyce <laughs> glad you're liking the card Except this one, uh, I should just put two, probably. I think it's fine because I need to be adding more here too. So anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and add it like so. And I might need to be adding the bow first. Now I think I'll do this. Okay, let's do this. And then I'm going to be adding, yep, there we go. Oh, it looks really nice. So when you're doing flowers and you're kind of assembling, sometimes on those it's better not to add that many because then you can kind of tuck under your pieces. Because you know I love adding lots of dimensionals, but sometimes then it bites me. <laughs> because then I cannot put the, um, the pieces where they should. 
go, right? So there we go. And everything is within. I can see my sentiment because that's the main thing. And um, hi, Cindy. And then let's use some of these pearls, right? Let's just use some of the pearls. And I was also thinking about adding a little bit of Wink of Estella um, to the flower, right? There we go. Used to have something shimmery. Now you gotta be careful, especially for these images where it, it, I am coloring um, on the cardstock where I ink, right? Because when you're using like the blends, you don't get it, but um, but when you're using the ink, sometimes you get the colors. This one didn't, so that's good. But sometimes you do, especially with reds. Um, so anyway, so make sure you clean it. That way it will be uh, ready to go the next time you're using it. And so anyway, let's go ahead and take the new iridescence pearls, which like I said, I love it. And look how many we get. So I'm going to be adding just a few here and there. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're liking the layout. Let me just read the comments here. Oh, Carol, yes, I had surgery. Um, now it's like almost three weeks ago. I'm doing much better. It was um, it was on my knee. It was on my knee, so I'm doing much better. So thank you. Do, do, do. So this is why I am crafting, sitting down, and it drives me nuts. <laughs> it does, it does. So anyway, so here we have it. See, look at how beautiful am I. Yeah, am I in the right place? Yeah. Um, look at how beautiful those pearls are, and I don't know if you can see there in this. Oh, you know what? I forgot also. Let me add a, be a few. You can see it here better. I think I put the light also, and that kind of helps. But you can see, um, I don't know if you can see a little bit of the, um, wink of Estella there, but oh my goodness, those pearls are beautiful. So anyway, so let's go with the next, um, with the next card. I definitely love this layout. I usually do this card like this, right? But in this case, I thought it would look nice going that way. Okay. And again, you have enough space here for you to address your, your card. All right. So anyway. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you're liking it. Oh, your husband. Oh, Carol, I'm so sorry to hear that. Hopefully he feels better soon. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all your comments. <clears throat> all right, so next card. So here is, oh, what did I do here? So now this one, this one is kind of like the same layout in a way, but uh, opposite direction. Um, I kind of saw this one on Pinterest from another demonstration. I'll get to be honest, I don't remember who it was. Because, you know, sometimes you're just scrolling around um, your Pinterest and you're not paying attention and then something calls your eye. It's not this card. She was using a masculine or what is this? He's that man or that's my man or I don't know. That collection that is all um, the masculine that we have on our annual catalog. And she did it with... Um, the, that paper and I was just like oh my goodness that's a really good layout so I'm gonna be doing using the layout you know I love using a sketches and layout and so that's how I get my ideas for the cards so anyway for this one this is actually at eight and a half by four and one quarter and I scored it at five and a half okay so that's what it is on this one so it's eight and a half which is our regular size on the paper by four and one quarter okay and then you get this piece that way uh, you can still get two pieces from, from um, your one sheet. And um, what am I saying here? And you still have some leftovers that you can use. Anyway, this one is four by five and one quarter. So this one is gonna go inside. Oh, and you know what? I forgot to cut out the inside. So I, like I said, I don't have my cutter here, so I cannot cut the paper. But anyway, I will. I would like to add here a piece that is um, two and three quarters by four, but I forgot to do that, and I didn't cut it. And like I said, I don't have my paper cutter here. This, like I said, this is why I'm just going crazy. 
Because it's like everything is everywhere. Anytime I need something, it's like I don't have it here. So <clears throat> anyway, but let's move on. Let's move on. But but you can see what's my frustration, right? Like you, you can you can see in the video, like this is my frustration right now. <laughs> but anyway, this is how it looks. Now, like I said, you would need a piece of um um, what is this? Um, basic white for the inside so that you can write your sentiment. Like say, I don't have it with me right now because I don't have that. But anyway, so let's pretend that I have it. And actually, I like to have it first so that when you're positioning this one, then you know exactly where it goes, right? And yeah, I don't, well, I'm going to let it go. As much as it's bugging me, I'm going to let it go. Um, all right, so this piece i'll give you measurements but if i remember correctly this one was a four and one quarter by two and three quarters let me just check this so this one is yeah two and three quarters by four and one quarter and so this one is two and a half by four yes and so you would need a piece exactly the same size as this one for the inside okay Okay, and so this is going to go right here because you have that piece, you know exactly where you're going to be laying up, laying out this one. Now for this part, I was thinking about adding a bow. What did I do with the ribbon? Do you see it on camera? <laughs> um, I lost it. Oh, here it is. It's like, I lost it. Here it is. Um, well, let's see. Let's see first because I want to be putting this one here. And I'm using the color combination from the paper, as you can see. So this one, uh, in this case, I didn't go with Mosi Meta, but I went with the Pure Pizzazz. And then I've used the Calypso Coral, only one tone, so not much. And then on this one, I'm thinking about putting the same uh, sentiment. And then, uh, you know what, maybe just do a bow again. Yeah, I think a bow will be okay. I was thinking of wrapping it around, but I don't because then it's going to look weird, a whole line of green here on that one. So I'm just going to go with the bow. But the original card that I saw had um, kind of like a knot tied around, which looked really nice with that suite. Um, and so this is where I got that idea for for this layout. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, we're going to go with this. And by the way, this ribbon is really soft and easy to, you know, make both. So definitely play with it. All right, and then for this, we're going to go ahead and bring again our sentiment and the memento ink. And we're going to go ahead and add it like so. There we go. Yep. And I think it's a little bit cricket. So let me see if I can do better. Oh, I think I'm cricket myself here. Well, yeah, I think this one is better. So I'm going to go with that one. And I'm going to cut it out in an angle. And then also here. And this one, it was again a piece of three quarters of an inch. The length doesn't matter, just make sure it fits your your sentiment and then cut it out. I think it ended up being like two inches, yeah. So I had probably a piece that was three inches. And again, I've used, uh, I've used for these type of things my scraps. So anyway, so I think that's what we're gonna be doing. And then we're gonna go ahead and add this one on this section. And again, um, make sure you have your inside so that you know where to position. Like I said, fine, I forgot that piece, but that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add it like so. And you wanna make sure that there's no adhesive here so you don't close the shot, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and add 
this business with dimensionals okay so let's go ahead and add dimensionals And I think I'm going to do one of these little ones, you know. And I think that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead again. Let's position everything first. There you go. To see how we like it. Now for this one, I'm going to be adding like dimension here is what we're going to, oh, look at this. Oh, I like it this way. So let's just do this. So I'm going to go ahead and add a little, more and more I'm doing this where I am adding the bows to the corner on this kind of shape of a sentiment, right? Like when it is in an angle uh, and I am liking it a lot. And then I'm going to go ahead and add like a mini dimensional here and a dimensional there. Okay. Just to even things out. So like one dimensional here and one of the large ones on this side. Okay. So something like so. See in. Do, do, do. See that? Now I feel like this one. Oh, I'm going to leave it that way. It's good. It's still within. Look at that, how beautiful, how beautiful it looks. Why do I feel this one is longer? I'm gonna cut just a little bit on this one because I feel like this one is too long. Or let me see, or maybe it's just, yeah, I feel like it, maybe it's just the angle. There we go. It was, I think, the angle or whatever, so. Yeah, okay, so let's just go with this. See what I said, uh, always look at the layout, see if you like it, and if you do, then you're ready to go. Then you are ready to go. And I talk a little bit there, which I think looks nice. Now for this one, I'm also gonna be adding a glue dot there on the ribbon and then I'm gonna go ahead and put it like so oh my goodness I am loving this one <clears throat> and then where are the pearls what do you do with the pearls do you see the pearl here I'm telling you all right so pearls so we're gonna be adding oh maybe I just add one here oh yeah maybe I do that maybe I just put the one little one here and that's it, you know? I don't think I want more. I think everything else looks nice. Just the one little pearl there. And we can add also some Wink of Estella if we want. <clears throat> and. Okay, Marianne. Yeah, Marianne, I'm doing more and more that uh, bow that way and I'm just enjoying it. it just, it's just a little bit different, you know? And thank you, Barb. You are so sweet. Thank you, Doris, too. I'm glad you're enjoying the, the card. And this is very similar, if you notice, on the layout. It's just different. Um, it's the different orientation, right? So, like this one, right? Like I said. And again, anytime I'm using the Wink of a Stella direct on the ink, you want to clean it. See, this one had a little bit of that orangey color. Not too much, but you always want to make sure you're cleaning it so that the next time you're using it, there's no problem with it. Oh, and like, and like you saw me doing in the beginning, beginning, I could have used this one. Although I think that for this one, this looks like happy. This one looks serious. I think if I were using the other pattern, this pattern, let me show you. I think if I had gone with a pattern like, hold on, where is this pattern paper? Because this is where I got the idea too. Like on this one. Yeah, definitely this one will look nicer, right? But on this one, I think it was good. It was a good call to go with a Calypso Coral only. 
So again, you can play with you can play with them, right? And you can see how beautiful the whole collection. Now, let's go with our third card. Oh, I love it. I definitely love it. <laughs> All right, so let's go with card number three. Mm -hmm. All right, and so let me get the. So I'm using Balmy Blue. Again, I'm using color combinations for from the designer series paper. And so in this case, here is that one. Uh, okay, okay, okay. In this case, um, you can see this was the original part that I got my color combination. And um, also like this one, right? You can see more of that pattern because you don't see as much here. But you can see the flowers kind of go with that. Of course, the um, the leaves as well. Get some of the mossy, and then you have some of the blue. So I decided to go with the blue for my card. Okay. So for this one, um, so I have a piece that is eight and a half by five and a half, and I just score at two and one eighth. Okay. And so I'm gonna go ahead and fold it. Oh, Kathy, you like Balmy Blue? You know, I I like the color. I'm not a blue person to begin with, but I do like this one. But somehow I find it that I'm almost never using. Now, look what I'm doing. I am matching it here, right? And once I have the match, then I score. I got this tip from another demonstrator. I think it was Tammy White who shared this in another video. She was doing multiple of those cards that open and had like a wild thing here. A pop-up something, right? And I love what she did about only scoring one side and then the other one to go ahead and uh, fold it because that way you ensure that it does fold it. Because you know what? Sometimes when I was do doing like the two and one eight from each end, sometimes there was a tiny little thing opening here that you would still see, right? And when you're doing this way, everything closes really nice. So anyway, I thought that tip from, from Tammy was just great <laughs> um anyway so this one is gonna go here and i'm gonna be putting now we could have add some designers use paper embellish you could also stamp actually why don't we do that maybe we could do that let's see if i had the pieces right can we just stamp a flower oh i think we can't well the leaves the leaves the leaves the leaves well i don't know maybe we can let's let's just pretend or, you know what, maybe I'm going to do this one because this one is easier to put the flowers, the leaves, sorry. So let's just do one more for those of you who are just joining and didn't see how we did this. Um, so we're going to be just to make it also here, right? And where is it over? Now, I said that and then I don't find the things. How about that? Oh, here. I'm like, I'm like yeah, let's do this and then I don't find the things. All right, so we're going to go ahead and again... This is the Mary Merlot. And I think it will look really, really nice as well. We're going to go ahead and, oh, I can, no, I'm going to put it here and then the leaves there. Yeah. There we go. So this is that. And then we're going to be adding the leaves. Okay. Oh. Oh, well, where is the, here, here is the granny apple green, well, and then we're going to bring the mossy meadow, I'm getting ink everywhere now, which is weird because I did this at the very beginning and I didn't have this issue, but now, and so we're going to be adding it here. Okay, and I feel like I went a little bit too, too hard or too dark. We'll see. I think I'm going to be adding them like here. And we'll see how this one looks. Oh yeah, it looks nice, I think. It looks nice. I think it's easier to do that on this one than that one. You could do this one, but definitely you would be doing uh, masking, 
right? Do you get it where the leaves are like not over your flower, right? But, ooh, and see, I just made a little bit there, so, okay, I'm gonna leave it. Because I'm having ink everywhere, I don't know what I did. But anyway, it looks okay, don't you think? So let's just clean these, because I don't want to have the um, other pieces gain stain if something falls over the image, you know, sometimes that happens, and then you messed up the whole thing. <laughs> So anyway, let's go ahead, but it looks nice. And now this one is gonna go inside and I need to let it dry. It seems like it's a little bit wet there. So I'm gonna wait for a second. So let's just do these pieces. Now, these ones were, um, so these are two, two by five and three eighths. Let me just ensure, where, what do I do with it? Well, who knows what, I, oh, here is the ruler. Just taking rulers everywhere. All right, so this is five and three eighths by two and you need two pieces of that. And then the designer series paper, this one will be one and seven, yeah, one and seven eighths by five and one quarter, okay? And so this one is gonna go right here, okay? So you're just leaving a little border on those. See, yeah, not this way. Okay, and we're going to be doing the same thing on this one. Oh, you can see. Oh, can you see? Oh, you cannot see. Oh, I'm just putting glue. Sorry. I'm just on the edge of the table. Sorry. I'm going to move here closer. So hopefully you can see. But I was just adding adhesive to my paper. I have to remember. I have to be crafting more in this area. All right. And so one thing on this one, if you notice, these are little flowers. So... Make sure you, when you're putting on your card, you're not going this way or one up and one down, right? So just pay attention and see, I'm saying this and I'm sure I'll have some sort of issue here. But anyway, um, just make sure you look at the direction as you're doing these. Oh, I am. Okay, there we go. And so, oh. I'm going to have this one. Actually, I'm going to be putting it like so, so I can. Can you see here? I hope you can. There you go. Oh. Get a little piece of the paper. And so the same thing, I'm going to go ahead and do this like so. All right, and so the same thing applies here. All right, so now that we have those pieces, I'm gonna go ahead, this one, I think is now good to go. So we can go ahead and glue this to our And so this one is gonna go like so, and then when it opens, it goes like this, right? So it looks nice, don't you think? All right, now I have this piece. This one is just 12 by one and one quarter. Let me see. Yeah, one and one quarter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and fold this section. And you want to do it um, where it's kind of Tight, but not too tight, you know? So 
so that it kind of goes up and down, I think. I'm gonna move it where, let's see if I put it this way. Yeah, this one is good, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and add adhesive on this section. Oh, Marianne, this is your favorite color. So balmy blue is your favorite color or blue in general is your favorite color? There we go. All right, and so see how it flows that way. It's easier for you to put it in and out. And then we're gonna go ahead and add, let me see how we're gonna be doing this. I'm gonna be adding this one. And one option, no, I think I'm just gonna do that. Hold on, let me just see. I wanna add this ones. Again, back to the um, layout. Now, this is the largest of the new dies that is called Stylish Shapes dies. And it's the one that has the squares, banners, and circles. So it is the largest of that one. This is one of those that I am just loving. Because it gives me several uh, labels, as you know, I love labels. Um, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and put it like so. And then I was thinking about that. You know, and I have that one like these. And then have some leaves here. And maybe some leaves there something like that you know and then half my sentiment here right so based on that I think I'm just gonna wrap around the ribbon no bow just because I think there's already too much so this is why I want to that I'm always kind of look at it how how I want it to be so I'm just gonna have a, a, a line here right so because of that I'm gonna bring do I have it here? Ooh. Well, I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and put it like so here. You know? So I'm just going to go ahead and put it like so. You could use your, um, what is this adhesive? The tape adhesive, which of course is inside of my house. I'm telling you, everything is inside. And then when I am inside, everything is here. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> All right, so now let me just do the sentiment. I'm gonna go ahead with the same sentiment. I think the sentiment is great because it can go for any occasion. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that one. All right, I'm just stamping the sentiment. So nothing major there in case I stamp too low. And we're gonna go ahead and do this one. Yeah, let's just do that. I think, yeah, I think on an angle will look nice too. Okay. And then for this part, we're gonna go ahead and add some dimensionals on these. Now I need to put another one right here. Just because the the circle is too big, right? There you go. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and add what did we say? Like something here. Let's see, I think, I think here, like so. Yeah, we're gonna go something like this, okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add, let's see, how do we have it? So we want this one here, that one there, this one here, 
and then I'm going to be adding that one here and then this one here, right? Yeah, something like that. Okay. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of adhesive here. Alrighty. And then same thing with this one. Alright, and so now I have this piece like so, and then have this one like this. And then I'm going to be cutting a little bit of this. I think it's kind of too long here. <clears throat> and I'm going to be adding some glue dots here and there. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I'm glad you're liking them. Now, for this one, you got to be careful and only put it in this section. You don't want to have anything on the top because most likely will be outside, right? And so try to only put them like in the middle section so you know it's not gonna be uh, showing up or going outside the limits, right? Of this circle, right? So I just add like two of those. Like this, right? And so then I can have this one like that. And then have this one like here. And so I'm going to pop up that one. And again, I'm just going to have like two dimensionals or yeah, two mini dimensionals. On... Yeah, because I don't need anything on that section, right? I might, I can probably, no, I don't, no, I think it's enough there. Yeah, so I like it this way. So let's go ahead and start adding dimensionals. So I can add here and here. I need to make sure that the dimensional is inside. Yeah. Oh, I might need to move this one up. And then this one, I'm gonna put it like so, and then only on this section. So only on this section I'll have. Because I don't wanna have any dimensionals. I'm gonna go with the little ones on this. Because I want something holding this section since there's not really dimensionals on those leaves there you go and then I'm going to be adding this one maybe like this maybe like this let's see Ooh, I can, yeah, I think this one is too, there you go, mm. yeah, so I'm going to go with that just because I know I cannot be putting anything else, no, I want it open. Now we're gonna go ahead and add, um, like I said, I don't think I can add a bow. I mean, I was thinking maybe here, but no, maybe I add the, what are these, the pearls. That would fill out some of the gaps here and there. Oh, look at these. I love them. And I 
we're just gonna put another one right there. And I think I'm good to go. Let me show you again how this whole part goes and then I'll show you all five of them. Give me a second. Let me just take all of this trash out of the way. Oh, you know what? We should probably add a uh, wink of Estelle as well. What am I doing here? We need wink of Estelle before we call it good. Oh, thank you. Glad you're liking it. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Now, you could also add some pearls in the center if you wanna do something like that. Um, that could also be something nice. Alrighty. Oh, let me clean this thing before I forget. Just in case. That was a little bit of pink, but not too much, so that's good. Alrighty, so let's bring all the cards, and I think we are good to go. Um, look at this. So this is card number one, two, and three. And like I said, this one, again, you want to make sure it can open up. Look at the inside. You can also have another sentiment there. Um, and then, see, it's not too hard to put it in. And then you have these ones. Um, I don't know. Let me know which one is your favorite. You like the, yeah, the side of the, the pink and white. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, thank you, Rhonda. I'm glad you're liking them. Um, if you ask me, I think my favorite is this one. I don't know why. I just love how it looks. The color combination, I guess. Um, I think the green is always one of my colors. Um, and so I don't know. This one has too much green. I don't know. I like that one. Although I like the foam fold on this one, right? I think it looks nice as well. So, um, you love number three. Who was this? Um, oh, thank you, Linda. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hard to pick just one, the blue one. So Rhonda like number three, two, and the one, the blue one. So a lot of people are liking the the blue one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all of them are kind of foam folds in a way, don't you think? I mean, um, I think like those, you know, it, it has something. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I am liking a lot this um, new foam fold for me. Number two, two, Betsy. All right, well, thank you so much. Again, you'll get the card kit to make these cards uh, when you purchase with me using this host code. The order has to be at least $35 and it has to be done by Saturday, uh, May 21st. Uh, make sure you're using the host code. And again, if your order is $100 or more, then consider getting that starter kit. Like I said, it doesn't mean anything other than you're getting your uh, supplies on a discount you'll get for free all the new ink colors, the cardstock, as well as a grid paper and designer series paper, all featuring the ink color. So, um, and you get to pick $125, but you only paid $99 plus tax, there's no shipping. So definitely, it is a great time to get that starter kit. I have put it in the description of this uh, video, a link uh, on my page so that you can see it. You can also go to creatingwithelly.com and on my tabs, there's one that says join my team. You can read all the perks and more information about what it is to be a demonstrator. And again, uh, you're not committing anything and you'll be part of an amazing crafting community that we have. Not only mine, but also a larger one with my upline. Um, I think in, in the bigger, in the larger group, we are about a hundred and I think it's 140, 160. I don't know the exact number, but we're a lot of them. And then in my particular team, we are now about 25, 28. So definitely um, in the whole in the whole team. So definitely it's really, really nice to uh, have access to all this group of friends and craft together. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to welcome you into my team. And again, you can email me at ali at creatingwithali.com and I'll be more than happy to help you. So anyway, so thank you so much and I'll see you next Tuesday. Um, bye for now.